Okay, uh, for three phase, three phase means that we have a uh, incoming of three sources. For uh, our standard source, we have a uh, red, yellow, blue lines that comes from our standard source. Huh? Let's say if we have uh, maybe sources from uh, alternative energy, you might have a uh, more than this three phase, but standard you have three phase. Okay, let's say you have a uh, multiple phase at least, a maximum of three phase, and we are supplying to the single load. So this is so called three phase rectifier. Means that each of the phases are rectified by the di diodes. So when composed by this single diode, so it's so called a uh, half wave kind of composition or half wave topology this half of the uh, wave only half of the top, uh, poles positive only will be rectified and negative will be uh, zero uh, will block positive rectified negative will be blocked okay, half wave rectifier with a three phase incoming if uh, we have a topology like this means that when we analyze the, the circuit you can see that during positive cycle, positive cycle, so it will go here, close the anode and cathode of the diode to the load, and it will return back to the source from, goes here, so it will return back and be from other line. Depends on the how the three phase looks like. Phase one, and then we have a Phase two, and then we have a phase three. So it depends. We shall analyze based on the condition. Which one at the highest positive? Which one at the most negative? So we go into the loop through that line, but return maybe on the other branch, the B branch or the C branch. Please. You cannot return to the A branch because this has the highest uh, potential and will not return back here. You return to the B or C, uh, red, yellow or blue. Okay, you come into from the red, but you return back to the yellow or blue. So this is the analysis that we shall take uh, take a look during our uh, uh, in future syllabus or just now. Okay, but. If you have a three phase like this, three phase of three phase of input, three source, so this is so called a full wave three phase rectifier. So same, we might have a fully controlled, a fully controlled. If you a full control, a controllable, sorry, controllable. If we have a device with a this kind of uh, gating uh, device, uh, device with the gate, gating uh, topology. But if you use only diode, so this is so called uncontrolled topology or uncontrolled system. Full wave but uncontrolled. This one is half wave and it, uh, it only rectify or conducts the half of the ship return but uncontrolled. If you use fire. We use other than rectifier, SCR, MCT, SIT, whatever, controllable device. So it become a control half wave three phase rectifier. So that, that's the name which refers to the functionality of the system. So if we going to analyze further in terms of the in term of the uncontrolled half wave rectifier, so we shall have a this kind of arrangement so as i told you maybe certain uh, because this node comes from the field but from for my point of view so the circuit should be avoided right because the circuit that you 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 draw shall be used by your by your subordinates and you are superior you are the boss the third engineer and engineer, IR, whatever, you shall direct your supervisor and supervisor as you ask. And she will control or uh, direct your operator. 
So the circuit will go through from you to your supervisor and down to your operator. So if you draw this kind of circuit, let's say you handle to your operator or supervisor and they suddenly understand this as ground, so they connect to the ground. So what happened? Your whole system will corrupt. In simulation, this is correct. But for your actual uh, device or system, you should avoid this kind of connection. So better use the connection with connect from a negative point direct to the load without using a ground. So please don't tell it to Atila. It's just my comment and my approach. Still, if you want to simulate, this is correct way. But if you want to deliver to your subordinates, so you should avoid this kind of simulation. And just use a directly connected or closed loop between source and load. And also go same goes to the when you use this kind of uh, my kind of approach. So put the voltage probe here. So this to measure your V in. This is to measure your V out. Again, still the same. You shall get the same output. You use this kind of arrangement, or my kind of arrangement. You shall have the same output for this for the timing. But for your future alert, because you shall deliver this diagram later to your subordinates, so you should avoid this kind of. Okay. So use my my push. Alright. For my group, ah. Okay. Group three. I don't. Uh, uh, stress it to the other group because they will use their own approach. So my group, your group three, this is follow or uh, refer to my recommendations. No? Okay, we have a load, we have a source, uh, we have a load, this is load, 10 ohm load, we have a source, 100, uh, 100 volt. Okay, so label, label, in terms of labeling, please put a proper label. This is label. So when you double click the icon, you shall key in the parameters. But in terms of label, please put proper label if available. 10 volt. So 10 ohm OHM. You might not find the ohm signal, but you just write the ohm. So label properly V in, V out, because you shall simulate based on what it labels here. V in, V out. So this is your D1, you see. Okay, halfway rectifier with a resistive load. So for uncontrolled halfway rectifier, when we probe, as I told you before, please arrange such that it follows the flow. Okay, when you perform your seam view okay, in the simulation, please proper use a proper arrangement. You don't put V out here, V in here. So this is incorrect way. So you put V in because you shall have a some sort of storytelling on your result to the audience. Okay. So V out should be and the starting uh, hierarchy. Okay, this is your equivalent circuit. Uh, sorry, this is your output key okay, output V out V uh, V in. Ah, sorry, sorry. This is your. So this is your V in. This is your V out. V out. This is your V which across the diode. If you want to analyze the the diode itself, what happened in the diode here? So we shall put a probe across the diode so we can see what happened at the diode. And we can probe in terms of their voltage or current. So let's say we want to see what happened here in terms of conduction throughout the diode. So we can put the VD. So this, this is V in. This is your V out. Okay, you can combine your V out and I out here if the parameter of your voltage is that you can see let's say you have a V up still the pattern follow the same like uh, I out, sorry, I out pattern follow V out but the curve is so small you cannot you cannot see or you cannot 
distinguish so small so better you put on another graph you know of yeah we are but the same phase huh? the same time frame from 0 to 3 pi, 3 pi I hit, see here you cannot put a v out 0 to 3 but you plot your i maybe from pi to 3 or pi to 2 or pi to 3 and up like this okay so same timeline okay you can combine if the parameter is almost the same can be justified can be seen if you cannot see so better you separate okay so that's kind of and just french more okay Okay, what we want to do here now is that we want to analyze in terms of how the curve is produced at this layout. This is V in, this is V out. When we uh, put an AC input to the system, AC in, we uh, conduct through the diode during positive cycle, what happened? During negative cycle, what should we Anticipate out of the circuit. So, equivalent circuit for the half, we have two phase here, which is phase positive, positive phase, then negative phase. And so, during positive cycle, okay, during positive cycle, we have positive cycle here. What should we uh, expect the circuit to behave? So, we have a V, the current that flows from source to the load. So if show that it will flows the diodes here. And we have a VD. We apply KVL. KVL here means that we have a positive here. Positive uh, potential. So the current will flows into the diode to the load. Back to the source. Okay, VD plus B out here. Minus BS. Right. So this is positive this is positive this is negative kvl if we look, take a look at the kvl kvl uh, states that at the complete loop potential at the complete single loop here and single loop is zero and voltage is zero and the or V source uh, minus the V circuit is going to the amount is zero. Or you can uh, Google to the to the to the web. It stated that for any closed loop in the circuit, the sum of potential difference across all the components is zero. Means that if we have here, we draw a closed loop, we add up all the sum of the potential the potential of the source potential of the diode potential of the load so vd potential across the diode a potential across our load a potential across our source should be zero so this signal here either it positive or negative it depends on the condition of the parts itself so the vd we have a positive the current flows here from the source so we have positive potential, we have positive potential here, we have positive and uh, negative potential here. And so we have a positive, positive, negative, all sum become zero. Or else we can write in terms of we put a positive at one side, we can put a negative at one side. So same. And so means that if we separate between the uh, source and the system so separate here we can put the kvl represented by vs is equal to vd plus v out and vhs equal to vd plus v out so positive vs equal to positive vd plus positive v out so same goes to the initial equation as well and so if you replace uh, vs to the this the side so equal uh, equal to zero equal to vd plus v up minus vs so return back to the same equation huh? okay this is equal circuit when the positive bias taken place at the source of the system okay next 